Well, the fact that he was clumsy, uh, and and they had written a couple of uh, uh, physical bits in the in the script, but then it became something that uh, I was able to do, and I was able to choreograph and and think of it. It was something I could bring to the show. Um, there there wasn't that much that I could bring to it. These these guys were funny as can be, and uh, I wanted and I would choreograph stuff. I would find things in the set or outside or wherever uh, that I could use. For instance, on the second, it, it was usually indicated in the script when we went in to read for the first time in the week. Um, it would, they got to a point where they wouldn't describe the business, the physical business or the prop or anything. It would just say business to be worked out with Ken on the set. And so I, I choreographed all those things. I never did any stunts. I, di I didn't do anything that I could get killed doing, you know. Uh, but it was, a, it was a lot of fun. There was really much time in, in television at all, in anything, you know. But uh, the, the opening of the second season was a show starring uh, Harvey Corman. And uh, at the opening, they, they told me in advance. They said I want, uh, they wanted me to work out something elaborate with a lot of stunts, and it was going to run under the opening credits with a big a pan shot, mm -hmm. one camera all the way, you know. So I got together with the uh, the prop master, and I said, "Can you get me this? And can you get me a big bale of wire? And and can you get me something out of a teeter totter kind of thing and a bale of hay?" Here, there. And he got into it. He had great fun doing it, you know. And we put together this sequence where I did a series of near accidents and falls and stuff. And I was reading a letter at the time, and, I, and my character was uh, so focused that he couldn't see anything else, you know. And he was reading a letter, and he walked along, and all these things were happening or about to happen to him. And I wound up tripping over something and falling over something up on the loading dock and winding up on my feet and still reading the letter and exiting the shot, you know. Never noticed any of that stuff happen. And it was great fun, great fun. I had enough time to put that together. It, it helps if you're a little agile, you know. And luckily I had been a, I had a dance training and uh, I, hadn't, I didn't know until I got after you that I liked doing that, you know. And um, Buster Keaton was a friend of mine and Buster Keaton, in case you don't know, was a huge star. I mean, I idolized that guy from silent movies. And uh, Buster, I, I never talked to him much and he didn't talk to me very much. We socialized all the time, but uh, it was, he was kind of uh, uh, quiet with me. And he called me, he actually called me after the show had been on the night before. He said, that was a good gag you did last night, which was high praise, you know, from Buster Keaton. It was did a you? thrill.